What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. We've got some plants to water. We've got some plants to water. I've got a kitty on my lap right now, so he's lending me his moral support. I think we have a limited amount of time today. It looks like we also have mail in the mailbox, although I think that might be a female box. I haven't really asked. I feel like it might be a conversational topic to ease into. I don't know. Are you allowed to just up and ask that of a mailbox? I have no idea. That's the spot right there where I accidentally destroyed one of my plants because I'm kind of new at this. I'm not the best farmer. Never said that I was. Never said that I would be. Why is that one right there not growing? What's up with that one? Is it because I planted it too late in the day or something? Maybe that's why. Maybe there's like a time limit and it requires like a certain amount of time in order to get certain stuff done. Who knows anymore? How do I get more water for my water pot thing? I need more water. Do I get like a well or something like that? What is this? No, don't water that. It's fine. Hello there, I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willy. I find it weird how invested everybody in this community is to, like, giving me free stuff and helping me. I don't know, this is not an environment that I'm used to. This is not how, like, things work where I come from. People mostly ignore each other, hope not to make eye contact, and just really, really pray that weird shit doesn't happen every day. Is that a well? Like, what is this? Oh, I think it's a watering trough. I think it's a watering trough for animals or something. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'll keep that in mind as well. There's lots of things in this game that I haven't yet discovered. Can I fill up my water maybe in here? My suggestion would be, no, we don't even have a faucet or a toilet in our house now that I think about it. Where do we drop a duke? Just like out in the field? Hmm. With this water life over here, we got fibers inside of our pack pack. That's cool. Ah, you fill it up from right there. Gotcha. I knew there was going to be a secret to it. I knew there was going to be a secret to it, and I had just yet to figure it out. Yet to figure it out. What are these right here? Mixed seeds. There's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what grows. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's plant them and see what grows. There's one right there. There's one right there. We don't have, like, a ton of them, but I think it'd be cool to try and figure out what's going on. We'll keep them isolated from the rest of the plants just in case they're weed seeds. You never know. It might be some kind of milk thistle or something. It's going to choke out and take out everything in your little collection of plants here. And we got to get that guap. We have no gouda, no cheddar, no provolone right now. We are broke as a joke. We have like $500 to our name. And that's pretty much on the edge of being broke. I don't know. I don't know. They did a study a while back that said most people... And the, like, it was like a huge chunk. I don't remember the exact percentage, and I don't want to make it up. But it was like 70% of Americans or something like that said they couldn't get $500 today in cash if they like needed it and that just like blew my mind I was like wow man people struggling out there people struggling like crazy I don't like that I wish life was a little easier on people I don't it's locked it opens at 12 p.m. okay so everything's got like a different open and close time oh we got some broken glasses out of the trash can I don't know why I need broken glass that's a felony don't go through people's mailboxes I got in trouble for that I didn't actually know that that was a rule and so when I first started, I did an IT business for a while that I ran by myself where I would just go and, like, assist people with computer problems, and that's how I made money for a year or two. Just kind of like it didn't pay a lot, but I love the job. I love doing IT. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. And so, what does that say? Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor about pravaloxanone. Pravaloxanone is not for everybody. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, uncontrollable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. It is extremely, in extremely rare cases, 1 in 500. Test experience, or test subjects experience complete disfigure or disintegration of one or more bones. Yikes. What's this guy got going on? It's a sample jar. Don't put your fingers in. I wanted to talk to him. He, he's a sample jar? Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling... Oh, that's the guy who was walking around before. Okay, we know him. He's not new. Can I just walk behind the counter right here? Have you met my mother? She's the town's carpenter. You ever notice how in video games people always have, like, classical nursing outfits? It concerns me that they wear white in a profession where you're probably going to get covered with blood at some point. Have I talked to you, raven-haired lady? Emily, oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Ooh. We got invited to the bar. I bet there's people here. She looks like a bad guy. What does she do? Oh, that's right. I heard somebody new was moving into that old farm. And then what does this guy have going on? He's just selling stuff. We got a bean starter. How long did these take? It takes four days in order for parsnips to be ready to go, and they're worth $20 or something. Plant these in the spring. Takes six days to mature. What day is it? Like, how do I know what season it is right now? I'm sure there's some way that I know what season it is. Do I have a calendar in here somewhere? Wow, that's a really big map, though. 
skillses at farming, so I can't level any of that stuff up just yet. It looks like we do get armor and boots and all kinds of other things. And it looks like this is a list of all the things that we've catalog collected and sold. Catalog collected and otherwise sold, just in case I haven't talked to you yet. My husband Kent is a soldier working overseas, that's why he's not here right now. I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. That sucks. That deployment life... Oh no, am I trapped in a hallway? I'm trapped in a hallway with a bunch of idiots that I don't even know. That's so much worse than being trapped in a normal room with idiots you don't know. I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Oh yeah, we might be able to get some wild stuff from the forest. Have you met everybody in town yet? That sounds exhausting. No, I don't even think I'm close yet. I think I'm getting there, but... Somebody named Willie invited you to visit the beach. Yeah, I should probably do that, but it's got to be before 5 p.m. Okay, that's a good thing that I read that then. We've greeted about half the people that we need to talk to, I guess. Our conversational topics thus far... Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts and or food. Okay, what is this over here? Why do you guys have like a shrine to Sigmar in the back of your, the altar of Yoba? Okay, Yoba Goya! It looks like a Sigmarite altar, they're like, purge the heretics. Been here for a few minutes too long, you start finding out everybody's murdering everybody. Like, ah, she was a witch, so we destroyed her. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Joja Company has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joja builders have already broken ground for the new Joja Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As a manager of the new Joja Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wages start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing it, your resume, Mr. Morris Manager. Hmm. Funsies. The joys of growing economies and people create... What is this guy right here? He's got a hat. I'll water him. Apparently, pouring water on people doesn't get you into too much trouble. Oh, never mind. That's, a, that's Robin or whatever. That's not a hat. That's her hair. Sorry, I didn't mean to be insulting. Ooh, there's a Super Nintendo in here! Oh, I gotta become friends with Abigail and then seduce her so that I can use... So that I can use her Super Nintendo. That is the new goal of the game. It's not in our quest log, but mentally I have added it. Well, maybe we should forage in the forest for a little bit. Let's go to the beach, though, and take care of this guy first. We'll talk to him and see what he's got going on, because it sounds like he's gonna give us a freebie. And I love freebies. They are the best. They don't have anything in their trash. Sorry, I'm going through people's trashes right now. They're just gonna have to deal. Oh, who is this guy with the righteous hair? The hair most righteous. Sam. He's just jamming on his guitar right now. He's just holding it down. That's cool. Do your thing, man. Get your practice time in. I always tell people that's the biggest difference between a good guitarist, like people that are really, really, really into guitar, and people that are not. I played guitar for a long time. And so anyways, I used to play six, seven, eight hours a day when I was younger, and I had time to do so. And people used to be like, yeah, how do you get good at guitar? And I'm like, you put your time in, man. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's like with any skill. You gotta put in the time. You can't play 30 minutes a day and expect to become super awesome at it. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ye. I'm still trying to unwind from me month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. What happened to your old rod? You dangled in the water too much, didn't you? Here, I want ye to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yar. So what happens when I fish? I assume that I get fish. Got that bamboo pole? There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. He's a pirate. I've decided he's a pirate. Oh yeah! Me shop's back open now, so come by if ye need any supplies. I'll also buy anything ye catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. His voice got raspier as time went along. Throwing my pole up in the water. Hope my fishing game gets better and hotter. Eh. Oh, what's happening right now? Oh no, things are happening. 
Oh, keep the bar behind the fish. Gotcha. So is that good or is that bad? Oh, behind the fish as in, I thought they were talking about like, okay, got it. Nailed it. I get it now. They meant actually like behind. I thought, I was thinking of like the bottom of the meter as behind because I'm dumb like that. All right. Well, we got some sap. I don't know why I would need that. It looks like it lowers my energy. We got fibers. We got some busted glasses in the trash. My backpack needs some, needs some upgrading here. I don't know. I don't know what I should be keeping. Fishing time. Gonna make me up some fishing rhymes. Hope I don't get my rod covered in fish and slime. Because that would not be fine. We got trash. Can I just bin it? Yeah, I was gonna say, I figured that probably wouldn't be that useful. Okay, yo. Ooh, that was a good cast right there. See? Yup, got cast like Merlin. Don't know me like that. Oh man. Unfortunately, my pulling skills are pretty terrible. God, those look like clams or something at the bottom, but I think those are probably just rocks. I can already tell I'm going to spend way too much time doing this. This is relaxing on a whole different level that I don't know how to describe. Eh, let's go do something else for a little bit. Got lots and lots of things to do. I wonder if you're supposed to fish at dawn and dusk, and if that makes your life a little bit easier. Got some ropes on this side. I'm assuming at some point I'll have some way... So we can craft in here. We can make gates, wood fences, chests, wood paths. We can make a campfire, which provides a moderate amount of light. Gravel paths. Okay. So it looks like we can decorate a little bit. We can also make torches. I'm looking for backpack upgrades is what I'm looking for. We need a backpack upgrade like, whoa. Can you mess with this driftwood over here? I don't think you can. I was hoping I'd be able to get this driftwood cleared out. What is this? I wonder if that'll be useful later on. I have no idea what that thing is, but I figure I'll keep an eye on it. Who art thou? Let me... Oh, never mind. That's Elliot. A great idea could pass through your head when you least expect it, but if, you mind, if your mind is too busy, you might just miss it. Yeah, that's why I carry a notepad with me everywhere. Well, used to. Now I keep a phone with me, and I just put notes on my phone. I keep notes on everything because I'm addle-brained. I told you guys. Just a day ago, I screwed up the Portal Knights release because I wasn't paying attention. I'm addle brain. It happens to me all the time and it frustrates me so much. I wonder if people get angry if you like knock down trees in the middle of town. We haven't used much energy, so I think we should spend at least a little bit of time renovating our farmland over here and seeing if we can make it, like make it a little bit cleaner and nicer. We've got the water, we've got the size, we've got the hose, so we might as well, right? I don't know if you can chop down other people's trees. That seems like it might be a little iffy. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna break out the scythe and we'll just start killing off some of these plants over here. One by one. There we go. And then I've got my pickaxe. So we'll break some of this stuff. Good deal. Real good deal. we got some coal right there, but I'll deal with that in just a minute. Your axe isn't strong enough to break the stump. Yeah, I was going to say, if we're going to go, we need a stump grinder or something. We're going to get that done. Stumps take forever to get rid of. I only had to excavate like one stump, two stumps in my entire life. And it's like, oh my god, it is such a labor-intensive task. So since my inventory is full, do I have a place where I can store things? It looks like there's a hole in my deck, and it looks like that's interactable, but it's not doing anything for me right now. Like, can I put something in a drawer? Or... Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Okay, so we need 50 wood in order to make a chest. I think that's probably our first big expenditures because we need storage ideas. So let's go spend the rest of the day chopping down some chests. And once we've chopped down some trash, we should be good to get started with some other little projects around here. It is going to be labor intensive, though, I think. Down it goes. Man, we got all kinds of sap and wood out of that one. Luckily, every single tree seems to give us a pretty solid source of wood. So I think we'll be able to get 50 together after this, and then we'll place a chest somewhere. I don't know if you leave a chest outside your house if it'll get you into trouble. But... I might give it a go in a little bit. Do we have 50 wood yet? Okay, so we got 50 wood. Let's jump into our crafting menu. And I'm going to place a chest out here for, like, outdoor goods. And so I figure... Right there looks alright to me. 
Open this guy on up. Perfect. And so this is going to be crafting related stuff. We'll throw that in there until we need it. And then everything else can just chill. I'm actually going to harvest enough wood to make another chest indoors for like random curious oddities and things of that nature. I'm thinking whenever they set a schedule out, we should try to adhere to it. There we go. I don't think this tree likes us very much. He's being dodgy. Trying to get out of the way. So how do we get rid of a stump? Oh, you just got to beat on it for a little while. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. All I need is 50 wood, and when we got that, we'll know we've got it good. This will also give us the opportunity to go back down here and grab that coal, which we weren't able to use previously. I'm going to try and stump these as I go through, because I want the land to be clear, because I know we're going to be using it. We're going to try and get as many pieces of farmland, as many parcels taken care of as possible. A couple more fibers in there. I wonder how I learn more crafting recipes. Like, if i got to find them... Or if I buy them, we should probably go through some of the shops and just kind of see what happens. It's nighttime right now, so I may swing through the watering hole. See if we can make it over to the saloon or whatever, the pub. And see if we can make any new friends that can help us out with anything. Any shifty characters who can help us work out our problems physically against the enemies who would see our farm destroyed. Who would try to take from us when we have so little. So little, Nerd Castle! So little. So little! I don't remember where the bar was, though. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Let's keep on trucking. I thought I turned on auto run. There we go. That'll make my life easier. That's Pierre's. What's on the front of this right here, though? Oh, it's the calendar. That's right. So it's Lewis's birthday on Sunday. Since he's the mayor, I should probably kiss ass to him a little bit. The Star Drop Saloon. Oh, good. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to give me the correct ore. What? What do you want? Go away. Shane, you're kind of a dick. You know that, Shane? I've decided you're my enemy. I haven't decided for what reason yet, but I'm going to start with you're a dick. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. You said to come by at night. I came by at night. Here I am. You ever like, you know how there's like those little social platitudes you use where you're like, yeah, man, we should chill sometime. And then like people hit you up on it like way too soon. I feel like that happened. Like she was like, yeah, you should come by the saloon and just hang out for a little while. What is that? Do I want it? They're trying to hide it from me. Water it. Water it into submission. Can I break this stuff back here? I can't hoe the back room either. So unfortunately... Gotta be careful with those backroom hoes. There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Journey of the Prairie King! Oh no! Things are trying to destroy me. I think they're supposed to be zombies. I'm not totally positive on that front, but they do seem to be undead or orcs of some kind. <gasps> There's a shoddy! Oh! You done did it now! You done did it now. So how long does this last for? Oh, we just we just threaded the needle right there. We got a coin. We got this covered. Holding it down. Playing arcade games. Looks like we have a time limit too. Ah! My only hope is that nobody else here shows up from the side that I'm retreating towards. And I'm doing that thing again where my commentary is all backwards. Oh my god. Ah, I've been eaten! Unfortunately, I am now consumed. I am consumed by the... Oh, there's coffee up here. I don't like coffee, but I think we can make this work. Oh no! The zombie's messing with me right now. I'm trying to keep this coffee in my system. What is that? Like some kind of woodchuck or something? Oh, it looks like he kills the things that are trying to kill me. Apparently, he's a woodchuck of valor and also honor and zombie slang. That's okay. He can be a woodchuck of whatever he wants to be. So, do I get, like, tokens for the coins that I'm picking up? Or, like, what's going on here? I love a good arcade game. I'm a sucker for arcades. One of my biggest things that I dislike about life is that arcades are no longer, like, viable anymore. It's a bummer. And it makes me sad. Oh, we get to leave now? Okay, let's go downwards. Let's see what happens here. Oh, this one's got little blocks, so I can't... Oh, that'll be fun. 
We got this. We're taking this one to the goal. You know, I get obsessed with little things inside of games like this way too frequently. Like the Fallout one where you played Donkey Kong. I played that so much. I played the hell out of that little Donkey Kong game. I used to have Donkey Kong, I think, on Nintendo. No, I rented it one time. That's what it was. Back when video game rentals were like a thing that didn't come from Redbox. What does that do? That looked like Kenny from South Park, and he apparently annihilates everybody with his holy anti-zombie wrath. Oh, no. No. I should have used the star. Should have used the star. I failed. I failed so miserably, Nerd Castle. There are like a lot of you guys. Oh, the star didn't do what I thought it did. I thought the star was gonna be like Mario. It was like that, 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 that. Hmm. I appear to have like. Please don't come out. Oh, go up the middle. I'm so surprised that worked. There are like a lot of zombies right now. There's no shame in dying to this many zombies. Like no joke. Like, don't even be- oh, Jesus. Don't even be mad about it. Like, if I got killed by that many zombies, I'd be like, well, it was in the cards, wasn't it? And if it wasn't in the cards, then it was definitely on some other piece of writing material. Those things look like they... cross the center of the field, maybe. And if you touch them, they probably hurt you. They got a little spiky hat, so they're probably purveyors of headbutting. Some coins in there. Yeah, buddy. Got the shoddy. Probably gonna need that. Let's go ahead and... Let us bequeath... Oh, they soak bullets, too. Okay. Yeah, definitely need the shoddy. Shoddy's holding it down. It's letting people know. It's letting them find out. And by people, I use that term very loosely because zombies are not people. They used to be people, but now they have gone to a different form. Oh, no, use the coffee. Use the coffee. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's anti-zombie? Oh, I'm a zombie now. Yeah, I am the zombie who eats zombies. Give me your flesh. Nom, 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 I think we were victorious, Nerd we, I, I think we are at least, like, roughly victorious. If not smoothly victorious. Hey, I wanted that kill right there. Who are you? <gasps> you give me... Oh. I want that revolver. But I guess I'll take whatever these booty things are. I think they might have made me faster, but I can't tell. Oh, I can hold the key down? Well, maybe I'll do that then. Nice. See, now we got a plan of action. That bigger guy looks kind of mean. He looks like he's been spending too much time in the gym and he probably wants to hurt me. But do you get the zeroth life? See, some games count the life that you're on as life number one, and some games don't. That used to bug me. The ambiguity of that used to drive me crazy on Nintendo, where, like, sometimes you would have one life left, but when you died, it counted as the life you were currently playing. And then other games would give you, like, a zeroth life, which was the shiggity. What is this? Like a reloader or something? I should probably get some of these coins, too. Yeah, maximum damage right there. Yeah, it looks like if you don't kill them, they deploy. And then once they've deployed, they appear to become some kind of spy. Oh, it's a machine gun. Okay, so we got a bandolier. That's pretty sweet. I would have bandolier. No! All right, I failed at Nintendo skills. Oh, we got another life. Hooray! I'm not dead yet. I love this kind of shit. I don't know why. I'm a sucker for it. I'm thinking just use the items as soon as you have them. Because there are a lot of zombies in each of these levels, and they appear to not like me very much. There we go. No! He came out of... Okay. Lesson learned. Don't go near the little entrance gates. Uh, we played arcade games for a while. What more could you ask for? Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. Uh, what is that? Like a little gopher hole thing? Oh, we're out at the trailer park. What's up, kids? How you doing at the trailer park? It's locked. 9 a.m. To 8 p.m. I bet that's where we buy our meth at, just in case we wanted to farm a little bit faster with a little bit more vigor. 8.30 to 10. So it looks like people are going about their business now. Decent time enough to explore, but I think I'll head back to the... What's out this way? Oh, there's even... Oh, it's like a... What is that? Closed until summer. Okay. I don't know what season it is, but I think it's probably spring that they start you in. I'm not really so sure on that one. It would seem like a logical place to begin the game at, so maybe that's where we started at. I do want to go down into the sewer, but since we lack weapons or any kind of armament or machine gun or gat or some kind of, you know, Rollo or Ting, I think 
I'll probably avoid it for right now. We gotta we gotta have a heater with us before we go down in there. Just in case somebody needs to catch that blop blop. We're about out of time for the day, I think. So I'm gonna break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully we'll get some more planting and stuff done. It's gonna be our third day, so the parsnips should come in the day after. It's getting late, I realize. Oh, we can forage too. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I should have thought about that. I will see you all in the morning with the next episode. Hi, do everybody.